know what's up guys if you want a shout out or if you just want to support your boy make sure you hit that like on this video lastly subscribe and turn your post notifications on hope you guys enjoy the video Yo, what is up guys, Prince Charming. Today we're checking out 10 messed up moments in Disney movies that no one noticed. So I'm guessing we're gonna see like mistakes or we're gonna see like <laughs> the more <laughs> No, 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 seriously, they're Disney movies. There are nothing wrong with them. They're all family friendly, kid friendly. We're just probably gonna see like some errors they made in Disney movies, who knows? Don't forget to hit me with a like on this video. Subscribe and turn your post notifications on so you never miss a post. Go ahead and comment the last Disney movie you watched. Man, the last Disney movie that I watched was a minute ago, but I would say Toy Story. It had to be Toy Story. Enough of me talking. Let's go ahead and check out 10 messed up moments in Disney movies that no one noticed. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Of course, none of it would have happened if she just told me her secret. She's a stinker. <laughs> Frozen. Dang! Disney's 2013 animated musical Frozen was the runaway hit of, well, the decade. Despite being four years old at this point, Frozen is still immensely popular with children and adults alike. It's with crazy, man. Release in November of Made so much money. It doesn't look like the hype around the franchise is going to slow down anytime soon. In the film, Anna becomes romantically obsessed with Prince Hans. But the refreshingly subversive plot of Frozen sees Anna eventually realize her infatuation was a little too hasty. In a scene with Kristoff, yep. the minor points out how ridiculous Anna is being by asking her simple questions about her new love. It turns out, she doesn't really know a whole lot about him. Oh yeah? What's his last name? Uh, of the Southern Isles. Girls just be falling in love. Exactly. Don't even know who they are falling in love with. What size doesn't matter? This may have gone over the heads of the kids in the audience, but the parents <clears throat> definitely knew what this was actually. All right, guys. I talked over. I talked over what else. Uh, of the Southern Isles. What's his favorite food? Sandwiches. Best friend's name? Probably John. Eye color. Dreamy. What size? What size doesn't matter. This may have gone over the heads Foot of the kids in the audience, but the parents definitely knew what this was actually referring to. Your purse on the size 14. Oh gosh. Hold still, will ya? Who framed Roger Rabbit? This Disney moment is way more messed up than the last. At least in Frozen, the characters were just alluding to something a little cheeky. In this example, the animators actually put in something visual that should definitely not be in a kid's movie. What they do! ...by Robert Zemeckis, Who Framed Roger Rabbit blends live action and animation in the story of a private detective investigating the murder of a rich businessman. The film was released in 1988, long before the prying eyes of the internet were able to find every I have not seen this film. movie. So, the animators probably thought they could get away with it when they snuck some nudity into the film. That's right, in a very quick moment featuring the animated character <laughs> Rabbit, her dress flies up to reveal that she isn't wearing any underwear. At a time when you could tisk, only get the movie like VHS, it must have been really hard to find this messed up Easter egg. But what makes this story really interesting is that Disney actually altered the scene in later releases after this snapshot was found. I wonder how much trouble the animator got into for this prank. A lot of trouble. You no, know, Jessica Rabbit was always a baddie. Like, come on. I know you was watching Who Framed Roger. Y'all probably never seen that movie. It was released in 1988. Y'all are 12 years old. Because <laughs> I've never seen the movie, but I've always known Jessica Rabbit. You're kind of bad. And does she, is she really with Roger? He, he's an actual rabbit. She's actually, she's a human, I'm guessing. He's an actual rabbit. Does he actually pull her? That's crazy. Scar evil. Did your mother ever tell you not to play with your food? The Lion King. The Lion King is a certified Disney classic. Released in 1994 during Disney's Renaissance era, The Lion King is the epic this man th threw some Simba dust on his edge up. Academy Awards led to a Broadway musical and spawned several sequels, including two, that's right, two television series. This film doesn't so much feature a messed up moment as it does a whole messed up storyline. Let's break it down. In a pride of lions, all <sighs> the are related to each other. They Our man Mufasa. Pride with a male leader. The male lions are expected to go off and form their own pride. That means that in The Lion King, Simba and Nala must be related. They might not be siblings, but they are, at the very least, cousins. It makes it kind of difficult to justify their whole romance. Oh, well, gosh. The filmmakers are going to take some artistic liberties with the science behind the film. I mean, lions don't talk or sing in real life. They get it on. Oh! With a quick mention that Nala was maybe adopted? We'll see how this plot point is handled in the live-action remake, set for release in July of 2019. So he's over here with his cousin? Y'all wild. He must be... <laughs> 
<laughs> Toy Story 3. The third installment in the wildly successful Toy Story franchise was released in 2010. Directed by Lee Unkridge and written by Michael Arndt, the film revolves around Andy preparing to leave for college. The legendary cast returned to reprise their iconic roles, including Tom Hanks, Tim Allen, and Joan Cusack, with a few new voices from celebrities like Whoopi Goldberg, Evil, Cameron, Evil Bear, and Dalton. The stellar cast, superb animation, and heartbreaking story all work together to make Toy Story 3 a worthy oh gosh. entry in the franchise. This reminds me of my Vine days. Like every other film on this list, Disney couldn't help but include a pretty messed up moment in the plot. This one isn't an adult theme or hidden message, but it's a really heavy moment for a kid's movie. At one point in the film, all of the toys are stuck Whoa. in the no way out. They all look out together at the flames that are about to burn. <laughs> all my out. friends are dead. To Push me together, to the edge. Close their eyes and embrace the inevitability of their demise. Holy crap. They God, just gave up like dark. that. That's the same. That's what I didn't understand about the movie. They just gave up. Like, I would have been fighting my way back to the top. Blah, blah, blah. Back to the top. <laughs> oh, my gosh. It's just... Uh, at least it's not 2 a.m. when I'm recording. So you're not getting the black hoodie prints. You're getting the shirt prints. So my jokes will be a little bit better. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> I have decided to make my final wish. I wish for, for booty. Jasmine to fall desperately in love with me. So booty. <laughs> This next moment has been the stuff of disturbing Disney lore since the movie was released back in 1992, and it comes from Aladdin. This Disney Renaissance classic tells the story of the eponymous street rat Aladdin, who meets a genie voiced by Why you gotta call him Street Rat? Williams, who helps make his dreams of becoming a prince into a reality. The film was a huge success, leading to a few unfortunate direct-to-video sequels, a TV series, video games, and Ew. you guessed it, a Broadway musical. It's been a long-held rumor that you can hear a mysterious voice in the background of one scene saying, Good teenagers, take off your clothes. When you turn the volume up really high, it actually sounds pretty unmistakable. Disney has maintained that Aladdin is in fact saying, Come on, good kitty, take off and go. The subtitles for the film even read something to that effect. But it seems as if there's a second... Aladdin, what are you trying to... Audio track. The problem with this rumor is Whoa. that once you're told what to listen for, your brain sort of creates those words out of the jumbled track in the movie. Mm -hmm. But still, this is one messed up Disney moment we'll never really have a clear answer to. But Aladdin, where are you talking about them kids who take off your clothes? Um, Aladdin, you need to be registered. <laughs> I'm kidding, he's a kid himself. The Rescuers. This what next episode actually caused a bit of controversy because Disney ended up recalling millions of copies oh, of the video release when this. it was discovered. This history-making moment comes from 1977's The Rescuers. The story revolves around a mouse rescue agency on a mission to save an orphan girl being held hostage by the evil Madame Medusa. How are rats going to save a girl? Our are riding a sardine <laughs> box through the city and pass by numerous apartment buildings whizzing by in the background. If you pause the original version of a film at just the right point, you can very clearly see a woman That's insane. who assume is in the middle of changing in front of the window. They put Apparently, this in there. This wasn't the fault of a rogue animator. Disney has stated that they believe somebody inserted the photo at some point during post-production however it happened the image made it into the theatrical release yep. the first home video release of the film yep. before the infamous recall funnily enough the easter egg wasn't widely known at the time of disney's recall so by issuing a public statement about it they kind of clued everybody in themselves now was the woman in the rescuers movie the that image was she really topless or was the sensor bar there because if she was really topless i gotta show you recalling if the sensor bar was there Come on, guys. Just let it go. <laughs> kids have looked up worse. I'm telling you right now, guys. Kids are looking at worse things at a younger age, especially with the internet out and it's being so easy to access anything you want. Come on. Kids are just learning at a younger age. Pinocchio, originally released in 1940, Pinocchio is one of the <laughs> oldest films on this list. It focuses on a wooden puppet brought to life Ugh. by a fairy who was determined to become a real boy. His growing nose has become ubiquitous since the film's release. Pinocchio wasn't an immediate critical success, but it was a monumental achievement in animation at the time for its realistic movement and detailed animation of weather and natural environments. The film did eventually find its audience when it was re-released in 1945, and has since been added to the United States National Film Registry for its historical and cultural significance. But there's a pretty important point in the film that's actually totally messed up when you stop to think about it. In the film, all of the boys on Pleasure Island who misbehave Pleasure are Island? Donkeys who can't speak and are sold into slave labor in a salt mine. The ones who do retain their voices are crying and begging to return home to their families. It's seriously messed up and must have given plenty of kids nightmares back in the 40s. The worst part is that the villains kind of just get away with everything in the end. So we don't even get the satisfaction of seeing them pay for what they've done. Oh my gosh! That's sad! 
Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. So they're donkeys now? <laughs> very first feature-length animated film by Oh Disney. god. So its inclusion on this list proves that Disney has been sneaking messed up moments into its films from the very beginning, and they've always been getting away with it. Snow White was nominated for best musical score at the Oscars, and Walt Disney was given an honorary Oscar because of the film. At the time, it set the record for being the highest grossing sound film. The plot is an adaptation of the original fairy tale by the Brothers Grimm. But this was made in the 30s. So in our culture that most people think of the movie version when referencing the popular character. The original Brothers Grimm tales are always a little more messed up than their Disney counterparts. But that doesn't mean Disney didn't retain some of the grimness of the original. Think about it. The evil queen takes out a hit on her own stepdaughter. That's already pretty messed up for a kid's movie. But what's more, she asks for her heart as proof that the deed was carried out effectively. Come on, evil queen. It be your own family. Or rather, don't. Can't trust anybody these days, man. Like everybody's just all out to get you. Be your own fam. That's why you have to you have to be all about yourself. You gotta put yourself first. You gotta be your number one fan. <laughs> this was all just a big mistake. Ew. Uh, right? If you don't slap him. Let's go back to Toy Story, because there are plenty of messed up moments throughout the entire franchise. This one comes from the first movie, which was originally released back in 1995. In fact, Toy Story is the very first feature-length film made entirely with computer animation. Now, we all remember the scene in which Woody and Buzz are captured by the downright evil kid next door, Sid. His version of playing with his toys involves toys oh, gosh. remembering and reassembling He's them so evil. Frankenstein-esque creations. This scene is creepy enough as it is, but if you take one small detail into account, it gets even more messed up. In oh one gosh. The scene, Sid burns Woody by pointing a magnifying glass at him. Woody remains calm until Sid is out of sight and then cries out in horror. This confirms one important They feel detail. pain. The toys can feel pain. So not only is Sid hurting Woody in this scene, but all of his other toys would have felt every moment of their dismemberment and reassembly. Oh, he's evil. Just imagine feeling that level of brutal pain, but having to remain completely still and silent through all of it. That's enough to give us nightmares even as adults. Honey! What? That's crazy! What? I didn't know they feel pain. The Incredibles. I love that scene. The, the second one is gonna come out soon. Family who keep their powers a secret in their nice suburban town. When former fan turned supervillain Syndrome threatens Earth with an evil robot, the Incredibles must work together to stop him. The film was written by Brad Bird, the man behind the criminally underrated film The Iron Giant. Thankfully, The Incredibles was a critical and commercial success, winning two Academy Awards, including Best Animated Feature. The Incredibles features so many sly adult jokes that it's hard to just focus on one. I love this movie. Elastigirl tells Mr. Incredible that she's very flexible mm. in the bedroom. Considering the nature Ooh. of her superpowers, it's kind of weird when you really stop to think about it. Ooh. Later, with Mr. Incredible back to fighting evil, Ooh. we're treated to a montage highlighting his improved mood, which features a lot Ooh. of renewed passion for Elastigirl. All of this kind of just gives us that feeling of watching your parents kiss. Ew. Fans of The Incredibles have a lot to be excited about. The film is finally getting a sequel after over a decade. Thank you! The Incredibles 2 is set for release in June of 2018, with Holly Hunter, the voice of Elastigirl, and Samuel L. Jackson confirmed to be reprising their roles. That was it for that video, guys, and I hope you enjoyed it. That was 10 messed up moments to Disney movies that no one noticed. I'm so, so happy. Incredibles 2 is finally getting a sequel. It's been so long. It was like the best Pixar Disney movie. I don't know why it took them 10 years to give us a sequel, but they were able to give us three car sequels. Come on, like who watched Cars 2? <laughs> but don't forget to hit me with a like, subscribe, and comment on this video if you want to reply from Shirley Prince Charming. Did I just spit? My name is Prince of Hawk. Come stay charming, my friends.